In this video tutorial, you will learn what a collaborative map is and how you can create your own to use with your students. A collaborative map allows students to work together on a project by adding their own input to the same map at the same time. It's a great way to encourage students to participate and discuss topics at a local, global, national, or regional scale. Examples of collaborative maps include digitizing your school or neighborhood, mapping new and existing bike lanes in your hometown, exploring an issue in your city, country, or in the world, and creating a map of a school trip. Let's begin with viewing what a collaborative map looks like in ArcGIS Online. This example is taken from our collaborative map web tutorial that represents a public map that anyone can access. To go to a location on the map, you can zoom into it or type in the address or place in the search box. To view the features available to add to this map, click on the Edit button. A list of features will appear to the left of the screen. Scroll down to view them all. You will notice that there are polygons, lines, and points. These are features available in a GIS. Points can represent trees, lines can represent roads, and polygons can represent schools. Once a feature is selected, it can be placed anywhere on the map. Then you can add the attribute information to that feature. When working together on a collaborative map, students can find connections between places, people, and things in their community and in the world. In this part of the tutorial, you will find out how easy it is to create a collaborative map similar to the one demonstrated earlier. In a few easy steps, you will have a ready-to-use collaborative map you can introduce to your students. First, you must sign into ArcGIS Online with an organization account to create this type of map. Next, you will type in collaborative map in the search box. Once the search results appear, scroll down to find the collaborative map web tutorial. Click Details. From here, you want to copy map contents URL in order to create your own feature service. Select the URL up to Feature Server and copy this URL. Then you will go to My Content, click on Create Layer, select Enter a URL to a feature layer, and paste the URL in the URL box. Then click on the rectangle below. Click Next. Here you can pan and zoom the map and set the map extent for the feature layer. Click Next. Enter the title tags or keywords that will allow you to find this feature service. So what you're creating is a feature service. This allows you to serve map features over the internet and provide the symbology for displaying the features. Then you add your summary and then save to the folder of your choice. Click done. When your collaborative map feature service is created, go to open and then add layer to a new map. You want to create a web map from this feature service. This is the web map that you will share with your students that will allow them to create a collaborative map. Go to Save and then Save As. Add your title, your tags, or keywords that will allow this web map to be easily found. And add your summary about this web map. Save this web map to a folder of your choice. Then click Save Map. This is the web map that the students will use to collaborate. Click Edit to view all the features that are available. As you can see, these are the same features that were available in the public collaborative map from the web tutorial. The last step is to create a group for your class. This is where you're going to share this web map to. And this will allow only your students to view this collaborative map and to work on it. So go to Home and then Groups. Then create a group. Here you will add the name of the group, the summary, the description, and the tags or keywords that will allow your students to find this group. Make sure to change the status to organization so that students within your organization can search for and find this group. When you're done, click Save. Once you've created your group, go to My Content to find the web map that you just created. Now you will share this web map to the group you created. Click Share and select the group 
that you created and click OK. Ask your students to sign into their organization account and search for the group name under the search box here and then search for groups. Once the result appears, they must click on the group name. They must click join this group and submit a request for membership. To accept membership requests from your students, go back to your group and click on membership requests. Once all the membership requests have been accepted, your students are ready to collaborate on a project. Connect with us at education at esri.ca and find free resources at esri.ca slash lesson planner.